Oh God, why do I feel like I've got a mullet? Oh. Hello, so it's the start of another vlog. It is Sunday and it's a bit of a special day today because we're actually going to an engagement party. Not just any engagement party. We're actually gonna see a live proposal. It's Liv, she's getting engaged and she doesn't know it. We know, but she doesn't know. So yeah, it's quite a unique experience. Lucy's coming along. There she is. And I thought it would be nice to document the bit beforehand. So we're, you know, we're all dolled up. She's none the wiser. We're gonna go to her new place, which is, you know, about an hour and a bit away. Yeah. Bit, a bit of a trek. We don't often make this journey, as she has said, but we are willing to do it for this very special occasion. So only this occasion. Only this occasion. No other occasion. Sorry. So yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Like we know and she doesn't know. Oh! Should we get the bubbly out the fridge? Is that a good oh, idea? Yeah, should we do that? Idea. We've got Prosecco in the fridge, so we're going to bring well that with us. And yeah, we're going to watch someone get engaged. Everyone's here. Such a cool crowd. We've got Liz's dad, the Karen and Miguel, the dream team. They're going to be capturing the surprise proposal. We're trying to work out like how to do this logistically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wednesday and what do I have to say yeah it's been a few days since I last vlogged obviously you saw the proposal and it went amazingly like Liv was still in shock like I was expecting her to cry immediately but she was just completely in shock wasn't expecting it yeah that was a really nice way to spend a Sunday so now it's Wednesday. I'm gonna go to my new co-working space. I found a temporary place in central London. It's a bit more central, which is good. And they've done a special deal, which is also good. I'm going there to give myself a little bit of structure. And then I've got a few events this afternoon. So I've got this ring making event, something to do with wine and jewelry making. So yeah, that's that should be pretty cool. I've got a travel blogging event later on about the Philippines and you know I'm excited because I, I don't know much about the Philippines so I'd really like to learn more and I think in between I might go to Brixton because I don't know if you know the blogger Freddie Harrell she's got a hair shop called Big Hair No Care and she sells clip-in afro hair extensions and I am very tempted to go there and get some hair extensions just to you know give my hair a bit more volume because at the moment it's it's a bit shrunken I'm a bit paranoid maybe the issue is that I haven't really stretched it enough I try to stretch it without heat but I'm getting a bit bored so yeah I don't know I might just go and see what her clipping extensions are like and I might buy some because I just fancy adding a bit more volume and you know being able to tie it up when I just can't be bothered so I think I'm gonna try and pop there in between hopefully I'll have time I've got a party tomorrow um, black ballad party tomorrow and then shout out live on Saturday which is a podcast festival so I want to look I want my hair to look nice but I know I need to get my hair done for my birthday but I don't want to get it done now because I want it to look nice for my birthday so there's just so much forward planning and I still don't know what hair I want for my birthday I don't know whether to get crochet braids even though I've never had them before and I don't know how to look after them or something that I've looked after before so still still like a bit indecisive about that and making it into a bigger deal than it probably is, but you know, that is just me. So yeah, let's head into London. Like as this piece of jewelry. 
is wax. Mm. So this is like a wax plastic love cup. Um, <laughs> so you can kind of understand the material better. After you've carved your design, which I'm sure you great, a mould is made around your wax shape and it's got a little hole in the top and then the mould is turned upside down, warmed up, so that then the wax melts out and then you're left with a, an exact hollow replica of what you create today. So it's really great if you want to create something very textured. So these are my slightly dodgy sketches and my ring will be back with me in three weeks. So yeah, I'm really excited because it's going to be rose gold and I love rose gold. Hey Samuel, she's been calling you. You are a well-known high street jewelry shop, you know that. Legs. Blogger, physio, physio, jeweler, Paul, goes to Rome. <laughs> like, and, living the dream. And she's really nice. And she's really nice. Really annoying. What's 30 like? I'm going to be 30 in less than three weeks. Have you got, have you got any advice? Have you got any advice? Just I'm wearing, I've got a line like going across my forehead. Like, you know, I have a line. I, I was looking up in the mirror and I'm like, there's a line. There is a line. I don't know what to do. I'll try and finish off some work and then go to the Philippines event. So usually when we uh, work with a brand or a destination, something they are uh, constantly telling us is uh, don't push the drinking too much. You know, don't tell people it's about alcohol, so they come and have fun. And when we went to meet the Philippines uh, embassy, they said, can we do a beer downing competition? <laughs> <laughs> so they're the kind of people we like working with. This is the worst weather ever and my hair is not not playing ball. I went to the event, I met some key people and we will see if anything comes of it. But now I'm going to head home because I need to try and have a bit of an earlier night and I want to try and start reading. So I'm going to head home. Now I thought I'd come here and see if I can get some hair extensions to like, you know, perk up my fur a little bit. So I'm going to wander in and see what they can give me. Open them all out and then you'll see all your different sizes and mm. with your thumb just keep untangling to your textural hair basically. My new hair is in this pink bag. I got one pack of the Zero Drama Queen and apparently this is enough to give my hair a bit of a boost. Oh my god I look like a claw. So yeah you'll probably see me on the vlog trying this out and hopefully succeeding. distracted by this cool looking place actually gone the wrong way I found it I found it and I'm really really early the event has started I think they've got nails the man with the laptop and food and this is we work London Fields they've got a slide so I'm sure I'll be going down that later I'm probably flashing have a lip bar courtesy of MDM flow flow absolutely free no charge you have goodie bags at the end I'm not gonna give you yeah I want you to stay and enjoy it Party. Oh, That's yeah. the hashtag. Thank you for coming and make sure you enjoy yourselves. I had a lot of Prosecco and we're being kicked out. We're being kicked out. She had a great time. She had a great time. I had a great time. She had a fabulous time. I had an amazing time. Oh, man and son party. You should have been here. You should have been here. It's a shame. So I'm going to end the vlog for today, but I will see you tomorrow or the day after whenever I have recovered from the Prosecco. Hello, so it is Saturday. I'm going to untwist my hair. I'm just, I've done my makeup. I'm going to try and do you know, the throw out. I'm gonna try and use my clip-ins as well. So we'll see how that goes. I think the last day I vlogged was Thursday. So I went to a really cool event, the Black Ballad Summer Party. And yeah, Black Ballad is a really cool online magazine for black women. And it is definitely needed because I find, I mean, even speaking to my friend who runs it, Toby, she will pitch articles to magazines and whatnot but the only ones that get picked up are like 
race related ones or if something has happened you know something if anyone's like slagged off Beyonce's pregnancy then she will get commissioned to write about that but if she just wants to write about getting married or you know something else then that doesn't tend to get commissioned so she created a, a magazine where black women can be their unapologetic selves and it just has like the whole like the full experience which is really cool so some really great articles on there and they host events so because I'm a member I got to go to the event so that was pretty cool and I, I keep saying pretty cool I need to extend my vocabulary it's just such a great like network of women I obviously met Benjamina I met a girl who worked in advertising I met some journalism students I met you know some really interesting people with really interesting stories and perspectives so it's just great that she's able to facilitate this and bring us all together because sometimes when you grow up in you know really non-diverse places it's hard to find your network and she's been able to create that so that's been really cool so what else has been going on so there's been a bit of a controversy about the bloggers blog awards not being very diverse and so it's, you know, I was added in a few tweets by Grace, because I know Grace picked up on it quite early. I was out. I was out for once. I wasn't, like, on my phone watching it all happen. But, yeah, I mean, I just think... I mean, I'm never, like, aghast when these things happen, because I always think, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Like, this is the result. Let's figure out how we got to this result. I think we need to look at, like, what award ceremonies... Like, do, do we need award ceremonies? Because it's very tricky when you start a blog, like a personal blog, and you do it and it's democratic, you can do whatever you want, and then you get pitted against other people. You know, the whole point of, for some people creating blogs was because they didn't see themselves represented. When it gets put into a traditional awards context, I find that the traditional biases can come into play. And is it fair to be putting these, pitting these blogs against each other? Like, what is the measure of a good blog? But that, that's not another question. But I think we just, you know, we have to look at the people voting for these awards. Who are they reading? Why are they reading these blogs? I just think there's like a series of different issues. And... I think people need to look at their own biases. And biases, is that how you say it? Biases? Biases. 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 I don't make any sense but if you know I think if you are white you need to look at the blogs you're reading you, you could read a blog by someone who looks different to you even if it's a beauty blog you know you you can you can learn things I read blogs I read blogs from everybody every race every color and I pick up on other things you know I may not get the exact same I may not think oh I can buy this foundation color obviously but I might learn about a different kind of product or a way to apply a product or something I don't think this is as coherent as I would have liked it to have been but I know there are some people that grow up you know my friends some of my friends they maybe I'm like the first black person they ever met and they may have had certain perceptions like based on what they've seen in the media like which is nothing basically I think there's just so many different issues that can result in that sort of awards list or list of whoever nominees and I think that's the thing that we need to discuss and understand and you know ultimately improve yeah I've read some really interesting articles I'll put them down below one is about the use of digital blackface so the fact that black people are always being used in memes but we're not being you know put into campaigns you know the YSL campaign came out and there's like one darker foundation amongst like a sea of beige so yeah that was a really interesting article I, I'll, I'll leave links down below to what I've been reading and I also put everything into my dedicated race Pinterest board I will leave those for you I think I might still try and do the clip-ins but yeah the last time I wore clip-ins my hair was relaxed and it got really damaged so I was always a bit sceptical about getting more clip-ins. I don't want to wear them like every day. I just want them as a styling option. You know, for days when the shrinkage is real. So this is everything. Looks very different to what my hair looks like, but you know. So we've got one big clip. So they're sort of saying, this is kind of how it looks and then you're meant to just brush it out. And then once it's brushed out, you don't get these curls back. So, okay, so we're getting a bit more of an afro texture now. So I'm gonna part my hair. God, the memories, the memories. Ooh, exciting. 
Oh, wow. Oh, God. Why do I feel like I've got a mullet? Oh. Oh. This is a little bit surreal. I don't know if I've done this right. Maybe I need to do it a bit higher. I feel like I've got a mullet. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> it's given me a little bit of volume. It's it's kind of like sculpture in a way, and I don't think I'd prepared enough time to create this sculpture. So, yeah, and I don't know the back. Maybe I should I could have done with maybe a slightly shorter length because I just wanted it to kind of mimic my own hair length. Yeah, I think I'm kind of there. I put in two short pieces and then like a medium sized piece in the back. But yeah, no, I think it's going to be quite you know exciting to have guaranteed volume and. I'll probably feel a little bit more like my face is, you know, framed. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm almost ready to head out. As I said, I'm going to a Pandora event. It's a summer picnic, which is outside and it keeps, you know, raining on and off. So that'll be interesting. And then I'm going to Shout Out Live, which is a podcast festival for people of colour. So there's Melanin, Melanin Millennials, another round, they, they've come over and a few other ones, a few other podcasts. So. Hopefully it won't be too late. Oh my God, it's 20 past one. I better go. I'm gonna check the back of my hair one more time and hopefully I'll be ready to go. So I'm here for a Pandora summer party and I guess, you know, brands, they put on things throughout the year. So this seems to be like a blogger and VIP customer event and they've taken over a square in um, Regent's Park. So it's one of those gardens that you can't normally come into. Quite nice, apparently the queen hosts her parties here. So that's quite nice. And yeah, I've stopped up on gin and food, it's so it's all good. So it's now raining, typical. I'm gonna head to Shout Out Live now, because at least I'll be indoors for the next few hours. Hopefully I've not missed too much, but uh, you know, at least I've had my gin. I've had my gin fix, so it's all good. I've tried to, I've tried to be smaller. Um, I've tried to speak up here because you know it's less intimidating. Oh, Kathy! Hi, Kathy! Loving, loving that, loving that outfit today. <laughs> it never worked because they still report me to HR. Anyway. So I might as well just not bother. Be like, you're right, Kathy. No matter how hard I tried. I couldn't do it if someone was asking me for like the 15th time in the workplace, like, why do you, wear, what's that on your head? Is that, is that, what do you call that scarf on your head? A head scarf. scarf. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that you have been deeply indoctrinated by a manner of thinking that's deep, that's oppressive. That's what I'm saying. And so instead of me having to say to you, the fact that you need me to, to clarify not all and only some, it's not some. It's not some, so stop trying it. And the fact that you needed the not all to help you feel better, that's the problem. You should have looked at that statement and be like, yeah, but yeah, we are, we are, to be honest. Hello, so I'm back home now. I am blending in with my cushions. So yeah, that was a really good day at the Pandora event and then shout out live. I just love podcasts. Like I love getting absorbed and you know, listening to the debates. And then when you get to watch them live, there's just such a great atmosphere. And yeah, it's just a really fun way to spend a Saturday. And it's the only festival that I ended up going to this year, I think. But it's a really good idea. And I hope, you know, that the network succeeds because I feel like they're doing great things, the Shout Out Network. Like my top comment goes to Champagne Twist. She also like waded in and defended me because someone said something about my vlogs and you know i love i welcome constructive criticism but when someone says there's too much talking in your vlog it's a vlog a vlog video blog vlog a bit weird when criticism just makes no sense whatsoever but thank you champagne twist for being really nice and supportive so yeah that's the end of my vlog for this week i hope you've enjoyed it i don't know if i'm gonna have another vlog in my 20s Ooh, I, i'm 30 in less than two weeks which is gonna be lit thank you as always for watching it'd be great if you could subscribe leave a comment thumbs up all that jazz and i will see you very very soon bye and then we've gone for chicken wings because i just i just wanted chicken wings and chips the biggest plate of chips coffee and asparagus
a little bit of green. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a dog. Oh no, you can smell the green. Oh, don't you take my chicken wings. <laughs>